Hello, we are currently at VWT campus uh, down in Henfield where Spirit was born. Um, she's come for a couple of upgrades today uh, and one or two things that just need changing because she's nine year old. And um, we're going to leave it with Tom for a couple of days and um, come back and then should be good to go. Good to go to the Arctic. Yeah. At Christmas. Yeah, it'd be great one. So yeah, let's uh, let's see what happens. Uh, sad to be leaving her. As Tom needed spirit for two days, we took advantage and spent a couple of days in Brighton. just arrived back from Brighton we are at VWT campers and Spirit is just being finished off in the workshop uh, she's there so quite excited to see everything fitted um, but we'll fill you in with what's been done when we get her back so we are back from Tom and his crew down at uh, VWT campers and uh, we've had a couple of upgrades done and also some renewed repairs. Yes. some repairs done to the to the van yeah. um, oh. as we said earlier spirit is now nine years old and you know we use her a lot so she's had a lot of hammer bless her yeah. but she does really well mm -hmm. um, so the main one of the main things we've had is we found that the roof seal around the pop top which you can't see from here uh, was split and every time we lifted the roof it would start to fall off so yeah, it lost, had... lost its grip on the yeah. so we've had that replaced that's superb now isn't it we don't have to stress about that uh, underneath the um, cupboards there we have three LED lights and two of them had started to flash which didn't seem like a big problem but crikey it drove you mad it like really disco, did it? drive you mad um, in the back corner here we have a um, electrical tower for when we're on um, Hook up. on campsites. Uh, we had that replaced because the old one had gone a bit dodgy. And oh, underneath the battery here, uh -huh. the lithium battery lives under the passenger seat. Uh, we've had it insulated because we did find last year in the Arctic that it was getting really chilly, and it's not. A battery that's designed for cold weather use although it did really well uh, but we've just had well. some insulation put underneath it to take it up from the floor to ho hopefully stop it from um cooling down yeah the bottom of the battery because obviously uh, there's not a, there, are, there is insulation on the floor um, but you're still going to get that cold going through so the bottom of the battery is going to be much colder <coughs> than the top of the battery and that's going to affect the way it charges so we've had that insulated so there's um, we've got a layer of insulation and a bit of an air gap so that will allow uh, the air to circulate around and keep it um, the temperature a lot more constant throughout the battery which is going to help with its, with its lifespan basically yeah. And finally, on the repa repairs front, the 12 volt socket yeah. cigarette lighter at the front had blown absolutely months, perhaps even 18 uh, it months was, ago. Uh, it was years ago. Um, and it's really handy because it's quite a, a decent output, so it charges things really, really quickly. We've got the one on the top of the dash, but that's not as good. And that's fine for the dash cam, um, but that meant we'd have to unplug the dash cam if we wanted to charge anything en route and Volkswagen couldn't find the fuse for it. Um, Tom and his guys managed to find it. Quick fix, take the old fuse out, put that one back in, showed us where it is, down the, uh, just inside the seat, uh, next to the battery, and um, we're good to go. Yeah. So that was cool. That's it. That's it on the repairs front. On the upgrade front, we had a 1500 watt inverter fitted, so now we can plug things in, which is absolutely brilliant. And we've also had um, an, a coolant preheater fitted just to protect the engine when we're down in minus 22, uh, or if it gets colder than that, when we're up in the Arctic. Um, that just allows the coolant to come up to temperature. And with this model, it also, once it's up to temperature, um, if you've got your blowers turned on, it will then defrost the 
uh, the windscreen and get everything up to temperature before we actually start the engine and all that runs off the leisure battery. Um, so that's superb. So that'll be great and we'll give that a real good test when we're in the Arctic uh, this Christmas, this coming Christmas. So let's have a closer look at uh, what we had done. So we have the controls for the Webasto preheater um, next to the steering column as you can see and this allows us to um, have it on heating, uh, have it on ventilation, we can set a, a timer for it. So if we put it on, we can just sort of press that button until it turns green um, and that will put the heating on. Don't know whether you can hear, it's beautifully quiet and you don't get the ticking either. Um, that we get if you sit in certain places uh, in the van with the uh, Evis backer that we've got um, and just turn that off. Um, so that's obviously going to heat everything up when we're in colder climates and protect the engine and um, hopefully lengthen its life. Leaving the Webasto behind, coming underneath the driver's seat, here we have the on-off switch for the inverter and to the right of the heater outlet we have the 240 socket which opens up a whole new possibility of charging things. I'll pull the chair forward and I'll show you the inverter. So here we are under the driver's seat and there's the NDS um, inverter, 1500 watt inverter. We've had to jiggle things about in here because um, we've got the inverter, we've also got the three Victron charging units in here as well as the heater hose. Um, so it's quite cramped in there, but everything's go everything goes in, everything's working well. So we decided to go for an inverter so that we didn't have to buy a separate battery bank. Uh, we thought about this, but of course that has to be charged separately. With the equipment we've got now, whether we're driving or it's a solar panel, we're charging the battery and we don't have that separate unit to haul about. Um, and everything's self-sufficient. Once the upgrades were completed, the weather was holding, so we decided to spend another couple of days exploring Brighton. Well that's it for this video, hope you enjoyed it. If you have, please give us a thumbs up. And if you'd like to continue following us, then please consider subscribing. We are going up to um, the Arctic in September and again Christmas, New Year, we're gonna be spending up there. Uh, and we've got a little trip in August, I believe, yeah. before that as well, um, yet to be revealed to yes, us. We haven't decided where <laughs> we're going yet. <laughs> Um, and if you've got any comments about anything that you've seen in today's video, then pop them in the comments below, any questions, and we'll get back to you on that. So thanks for watching, everybody, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye. Take care.